Good evening and welcome to our springtime evening garden. Isn't it beautiful? This really is our garden. This is our wild area. This is our gorgeous crab apple, or one of them. Oh my goodness. If I could bottle that smell, I'd be a seriously rich man. But as you can hear, wow, the swallows and the house martins are twittering. Spring is all around us. And it's not just up there. It's not just around us in the garden. It's also over here in our wild area. This is our wild area. This area here, pretty barren at the moment, but believe me, under all this soil, life is brewing. We've got thousands and thousands of wildflower seeds that are germinating and they're all just starting to appear. You can see beyond is our wild pond. Looks a bit dark, looks a bit dank, doesn't look particularly pretty. There's big slicks of algae on the surface, but life is just beginning right now. Below that surface, spring is also happening as well. Now, as well as having my adventures and taking you guys with me on my remote cameras that I wear on my body, I also specialize in making remote cameras that can be placed anywhere to film animals all around the world. It's something I love doing and I've taken them absolutely everywhere. But I also love making my own remote cameras and I use them all around my garden to film some really cool wildlife right on my doorstep. And I've been putting remote cameras right here in the pond and they have been recording some spectacular behavior, magical springtime behavior that you may not have ever seen before. Forget Forget birds singing, forget beautiful blossom on the trees. This is life in a spectacular style, a monstrous style, a prehistoric style. And it's happening right now, right under our noses. And we are gonna go on that journey because I've been putting in our pond some remote cameras. They've been down there, they've been recording for hours and hours and hours, capturing real life wild behavior. It's not in a set, it's not in a fish tank. This is wild behavior that's happening right under my nose and your nose right now. You guys are gonna become one of the remote cameras. You guys are gonna go on the journey right now to the bottom of my pond. Have a fantastic trip, bye. Welcome to the magical world of newts. Aren't they glorious? These are called palmate newts, and this is a gathering of three small males, all looking for females. They're incredibly sensitive this time of year, looking for pheromones, sniffing out pheromones and looking for females. Oh wow, look at this beauty. Oh my goodness, that's a serious monster. That is the greatest newt in Britain. That is the great crested newt. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh look, and he's hotly pursued by a male palmate. There goes a female great crested. That's an adult male. Look at that frill down his back. Isn't he gorgeous? And hot on his heels is a male palmate. That's the thing. Newts, they're amphibians. They hang around on the bottom looking for mates. That's a female great crested going to the surface. On the bottom, look. That's a huge male. Look, down comes the female. Look, there's the male. See his massive frill. All he wants to do is mate with that female. Here she comes. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh, look. Bottom left. There's, oh, look. Look at the male palmates coming in. That's the thing, all these males are so sensitive to movement. Any movement they see, they think could be a prospective mate, even the wrong species. So we've got the gathering of cresteds. There's a male great crested, down he comes. Oh man, look, another rival male, here we go. So these guys, they hold territories. They're constantly looking out for females, but any other newts that come around, they think potentially could be a rival, could be a mate or a rival. In this case, it's a rival. So look, he's turning around and him seeing him off. Look at that crest. Isn't he beautiful? How spectacular. I love doing these live commentaries. And on these remote cameras, you never know. Oh, wow, did you see that? You never know what you're going to see. Bam! They're a serious hunter of underwater invertebrates. That was a male grey crested grabbing some sort of underwater insect. This is fantastic. As I say, I love these remote cameras. This is a random selection of my clips that I've got over a few days. Oh, man, there's a female. Female grey crested coming down. Bam, look at that male. Like a homing missile. He's seen her, bam, he's straight on her, thinking that she could be the mate. She could be the one that he's been looking for. Look, look at his tail starting to undulate. That's him flick, flick, flicking his tail, bam, and she's off. He's in pursuit, he's straight after her. Here she goes again, look, she's charging away, and he's in hot pursuit. Absolutely beautiful. What is so cool is to see this behavior in the wild. So often this behavior is seen in captivity in tanks. This is totally wild. Look, there's a male great crested. Oh my goodness, look at them in the background. Two males coming together, head to head, like they're like stags. Look at them. And in the background, there's a female. Two males circling each other, look, posturing, building up their bodies. Look at that. It's like they're going to explode on each other, eyeing each other up, seeing who's the biggest male, who's the most dominant male. Oh, look, and he's off. He's decided, I'm, I'm not having this at all. He's off. 
Down comes the male great crested. Oh my goodness, look at him. They are just so spectacular. Look at that crest. They only get it this time of year. Most of the year they're totally terrestrial. But this time of year they enter the water to breed, they mate, they lay their eggs underwater, and then they of course become tadpoles. But this time of year the males look absolutely spectacular with this magnificent crest on their backs. The bigger the crest, the more spectacular male. What are you gonna do, my man? You look so handsome sitting there waiting for females. Look at that crest. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh look, and he's pursued by a small male palmate news. What's going on here? Oh, there's a male great crested going up for a breath. This is what they do. They sit on the bottom, but of course they're air breathers. They have to breathe the air, but of course, when they go up to the surface and breathe air, it attracts attention from all the other ones. Look, there's a male pursuing that other male now. There he goes. There's a gorgeous male going by. Oh no, there's another male in the background. Here he comes, look, look. He's thinking, oh yeah, are you a female? Oh no, maybe you're just a rival. Right, what are you doing on my patch, mate? You better quickly scarp. I look, he's pushing him off. And as the light descends, these guys are mainly what's known as crepuscular or nocturnal. But as the light descends, that's when the real activity kicks. Oh my good, look at that. Posturing, look, arching their backs like a couple of fighting dogs. They actually call them water dogs or tritons. They are the serious monsters that live at the bottom of the pond. And now as nighttime descends upon our pond, I think it's time that we say night night to the newts. Night night to you guys as well, and I'll speak to you soon on Rob's Wild Adventures.